You can now customize your lock screen on iPhone to have a whole range of different wallpapers like this, like this, or even this. And in this iOS 16 tutorial video, I'll show you how to set up the iOS 16 lock screen and customize it. This new feature comes with the latest iOS update, iOS 16. And if you haven't already got iOS 16, here is how to install it the easy way. There are lots of new features with iOS 16, but I think that the iOS new lock screen and lock screen widgets are the most significant and the most noticeable. It allows you to have a whole range of different lock screens that you can customize the look of, including font type and color, background colors and themes such as weather, emoji, the moon even, and you can cycle between them very easily. The iOS 16 lock screen customization feature takes inspiration from the different watch faces you can have on Apple Watch and the way you can swipe between different watch faces and customize what you see on each of the faces. Let's get into this iOS 16 lock screen tutorial. So here is my standard lock screen featuring the lovely Tash. You can see how there is a bit of depth effect here with the clock behind her head. So with this feature, a photo subject is lifted from the background to make it more prominent. I like it. Not only that, when you wake up the screen, you can see how the photo subjects light up first, then the background. See the effect here? So to start this iOS 16 lock screen customization tutorial, tap and hold like so. You can then swipe across to see the different lock screens you've set up. Then just tap one to activate it. But let's start from scratch. You can delete any lock screen you created by swiping up and then tapping delete. You can add a new lock screen by tapping the plus symbol here or just tap here. You are then presented with some templates. We'll go through each of these in a minute, but to summarize, we have featured lock screens, lock screen with some suggested photos, a photo shuffle option, weather and astronomy lock screens, emoji lock screens, collections, and color. Under each of these categories, some options have just the theme slash color, and others also add in some preset widgets already built in. Up the top, we have an option to select a base theme slash color, where we can then add widgets from scratch. Let's look at the best of the different themes. Then after, we'll look at the different iOS lock screen widgets and how we can customize them. Here is the astronomy one, which I imagine will be quite popular. You can choose between Earth, Earth Detail, both of which show your location, and the sun will represent your time of day where you are. Then you have the moon, both zoomed out and in detail, or you can have the solar system showing the current position of the planets. Let's choose Earth. Then when you click Done, you can make the theme as a pair. What this does is it makes your lock screen and home screen match with an animation like this. Or you can customize it and choose your corresponding home screen to be the same earth detail with legibility blur on or off. See the effect here? Or a color where you can configure the gradient or choose a photo. And every time you do create a new lock screen, you'll get to set this as a wallpaper pair or you can customize it further. But you can't go back later and change this. You'll need to create a lock screen from scratch again. So just keep this in mind. Up the top, you can customize the time and widgets Again, which we'll come to next, but generally each of the theme templates that have widgets built in already, the widgets programmed are similar to the theme itself. With the suggested photo theme, iPhone picks some photos that it thinks will look great as a wallpaper. I'm not sure why I picked my friend here, but some of these landscape photos work really well, such as a view from my balcony, complete with fairy lights as you can see here. Next is Photo Shuffle. This one is really great and one of my favorites actually. Here you can choose from any combination of some people it recognizes from your camera roll, some auto-selected nature shots, or city skyline shots. Then you have the option to tap here and choose how often it shuffles the photos and how it does that. Down the bottom, you can also choose to set the photos manually instead of waiting for iPhone to choose the photos it thinks are good. Emojis are another interesting lock screen theme. You can customize these as much as you want, but here are some preset templates. And you can choose between different layouts to make different sizes, patterns, like so. I'll use one of these color lock screen themes to demonstrate some of the customization of the time and date that you can do. Previously, Apple had never allowed any customization in this area as they were quite rigid on how fonts should display. So it's pretty dramatic that they now allow the change of font and it was certainly the first thing I noticed when I flicked over to iOS 16. It's very unlike Apple to allow customization like this Although here you can only actually choose between six different fonts. But you can change the color to what you like. And actually you can customize the font and color on any of your lock screens. And with this color theme, you can choose whatever color you like here and pick different gradients. 
A very clean, simple, but good looking theme. Okay, let's move on to iOS 16 lock screen widgets. And we'll use the weather theme here as the base for this. This theme is nice because it represents what the weather is like and the time of day it is outside at your location. So you can have up to five widgets on your lock screen. One at the top above the clock and up to four slots below. So for the top slot here, the options are slightly limited and you can choose from any of the ones shown here. But let's stick to the weather theme and choose to show, say, how windy it is outside. This is good for me because my sport of choice is kite surfing and I like to know what the wind is doing at any time. For the widgets below the time, we are limited to this amount of space. So you can have either two big ones, one big one and two small, or four small ones. You can tap each of these categories and select a widget. With some of the categories, you can even swipe across to see more options. So for weather, I quite like this combination of max, min and current temperature, chance of rain and percentage, UV index and sunset time in addition to the wind. Let's combine an emoji theme with some health related widgets now. The emoji one is really cool because you can choose a few emojis. So let's go with the strong emoji, the running emoji and the sweat emoji for inspiration. You can then choose from several different styles of the way the emojis are presented as I mentioned before. I'll go with this one for now. Then let's choose the wind widget up the top here again. I'll choose this font and this color for the time and widget color. I'll go with my move goals here, perhaps my Apple Watch battery, and again, percent chance of rain. So you can really customize any theme or template to whatever style you want to have. Of course, you can have any number of different lock screens to suit your taste or occasion, similar to the Apple Watch. Lastly, when swiping along your new lock screens, down the bottom you can see there's a focus button. You can program this so that a particular lock screen is linked with a focus mode. For example, for me, I like to link my astronomy lock screen with my do not disturb mode for when I sleep. So now when it's the time of evening that I want to go into do not disturb mode, I can either swipe down and tap do not disturb and it will automatically change to my moon lock screen or I can just change my lock screen to the moon one from another one and it will automatically go into do not disturb mode. Watch this video next to learn how to edit iMessages that you've already sent or even unsend ones that you've already sent altogether. It's another great iOS 16 update, so I'll see you there.